talk about Henry Costa a little bit and you will talk your own. Give me a chance, let me talk my own. Henry Costa posted this yesterday. A U.S. judge has sentenced Stanton Witherspoon to 45 months in prison in his fake nursing diploma case, Vote We Are in Taylor. He posted this. The reason why I'm bringing this up, you will ask me why, because a day before he posted this, after he said that the Unity Party $68,000, he provided it, or some of his people then, whatever the case may be, and I debunked that. And he lied and said, just say you might work out it, so the money, and I debunked it, that was a lie. I'm not talking about the rest of them. I want to talk about Henry Costa alone. And I want you to know the real Henry Costa, who is he? Because we are in a political season. We're going to pause on relationship and friendship and we're going to talk about the issue for the labyrinth people to understand. So forgive me and let me do this. And after he said that, he reached out to me. When he said that, Henry Costa reached out to me. He sent this thing to me yesterday. He posted this message yesterday, right? Let me correct. Because everybody said, yes, Sinton will go to jail for the one month, which is wrong. I'm sorry, the reporters that CDC said maybe they couldn't speak English or understand English. So, Henry Costa ran with the story. My own friend, Rodden C.A., put it on, faith, on his paper, Front Page Africa. He ran with it. But I'm not going to talk about Ronnie C because that's not my business. Let me focus on Henry Costa. And at the end of the day, this is what happened. He posted this. He ran with their story, their talking point. Prior to yesterday, this is what Henry Costa sent me, Minister Kamara. On Thursday, there you go, it's right there. You see my phone here. After he said, we went back and forth. On Thursday, Henry Costa sent me this message. Said he loved to show it on his phone to stream it. Let me show mine like this before they see that strange shot. I hope you guys are able to see it. If not, that's okay. It's right there. He sent me the message. On Thursday, Henry said, having learned, my brother, having you learned enough from how I was weakly treated by people I did and sacrificed so much for, my brother, don't let this ungrateful you so come between you and the people you had had a good relationship with. Remember that, my brother. I sincerely wish you well. This is a man that will wish me well on Thursday. This is a man. I want you guys to understand this. And I want you to know the real Henry Pedro Costa. This is Henry Costa that was wishing me well. After him, I said, went back and forth because he lied and said he provided 60000 He lied and said that Joseph Buaca ate it. And that was a lie because I have the messages. But this is Heron Pedro Costa sending me a wishing well on Thursday. I'm going to put it up again. It's right there. On Tuesday, thank you, Tuesday. On Tuesday, he said this to me, I wish you well. Then yesterday he posted this. <clears throat> you gotta be real with yourself. You have to tell the Labyrinth people the truth. You gotta tell them what you stand for. You gotta tell them who you are and what you believe in. We have to be sincere to our fellow Liberians. You cannot call me in the night, send me messages, and go on social media and denigrate me. You cannot say I'm your friend, I'm your brother. All the sweet talk, you do it by door. But then, when you go in public, you say, I don't know that man. I know him not. You are with Jesus. No, 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 not me. No, I saw you with Jesus. No, 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 not me. You want to stand on office every week to collect money every week. 
But then you post some stuff and say no. My office has all video cameras, rings. When you appear to the door, we get your video. When you sit in my office, we get a video. You guys know about ring and blink. I have everything. I have all the videos. Should I go down the road to tell people that they play some of the messages? Come on, guys. Should I tell the Liberians, or maybe Costa need to tell the Liberians, say he want to be fake? How much money every month he was receiving that I was paying him every month? Oh, because today after you instructed George Manor, we are you said the words about him. So now he's your friend and every other person they are bad. Because of what George Manor we are is giving you. Let's put the friendship aside. Let's talk about this issue. Let the Liberian people know who you are. So I have come today, and guys forgive me. I can point to individuals. Tomorrow, George, Mom Mamadou Massacre, Mempe Gondo, Costa, own fiance or his wife, Sanke, Abiba. I can call their names when Costa will send them and send me cash app information because I have the cash app. I will cash app them to pay Costa rent, to help with his repair on his car. When his wife or his ex-wife took his son to Italy and the lawyer need to intervene, I pay. She know because Costa to her. When everything for two years plus, I took care of Costa. That today, you know that fake nursing degree that today you know sometimes i don't talk these things because i don't think it's important but we need to set it straight because we are in election season and everybody need to know the real henry pedro costa text messages i get in my possession that this brother fought to put people on sanction he sent it to me messages i got in my possession that my man Jua howard taylor were begging at the American embassy that they may relieve her order of sanction and of restriction, the message to Costa sent to me. When Costa filed a Ben Yuri back, I have the letter that he wrote, folks that he sent the letter to, that they should relieve him order of sanction. Costa gave him those documents. Everything for two and some more years that Costa sent to me. It's in my cell phone. I downloaded it and I put it in the archive. I took care of them because in this election season, we must always learn to speak truth to power. I didn't help Heron Costa because I needed a reward. I helped him because I saw a brother that was in need, a friend that was desperate. When they were trying to put Henry Costa out from his apartment where he was moving to the new building, he came to Maine. Henry Costa was making three, I was giving him $3,000 every month. Every month, $3,000. You can do that to a friend. Let's talk the politics. You cannot call me a day before wishing me well and the next day you posting something fake. You can do that. You call me and I say, don't let nobody come between us. You send me a text message. You my brother, don't let nobody come between us. Then you run to please Josh Weir. You run with a story to please Samuel Twer because that's what they want you to do. But you forget everything, every day. Mug used to sit as a receptionist to the desk. Fabrice will be in the office. Tomorrow morning, Josh will go and meet you there. Peabody will meet you there. Every day. 
Cost that son need Burger King. Cost that son one Burger King. Cost that son one days. I will give it to Costa. Not a thing that a brother ever wanted. I never provided. I did it because I knew that he was in need. Some information he gave me, if I reveal those information, it would be worse. But you know why you talk about George Manawea? You have seen it before. You heard what he said about George Manawea. I'm not going to tell you anything new. What he said about Edwin Melvin Snow, messages he sent to me, what he said about, about uh, how you call him, Chairman Moba Madu, how Chairman Madu beg, he sent me the text messages that he wanted to come and talk to Adam White to snitch on Josh Weah, the messages I hear. How people call him Funati Kofa, they were snitch, they are agent. They were snitching on Josh Mana Weah for Josh Mana Weah to be put on sanction. All the messages between he and those people they are here. I'm not making up a story. I kept them. Why would you do these things? For small money, Costa? I got more information. If I choose to reveal them, choose to send it out. I don't think they own your own job. We are even see you or Jefferson Koji. Everything you planted on Jefferson Koji, all the messages you send me, everything you instructed Justina Taylor to say against Jefferson Koji and what you send me is in the text messages. Costa, I could have asked you to jump and all you would say how high because I was your breadwinner. I was taking care of you. What else are you going to say to me? Send on get fake nursing school. I know send on girlfriend. I know this. I know what else you will say to me, Costa. But don't bring that hypocrite behavior. You talk to me. You say, let's forget it. You say, you my brother. Then you go on Facebook. You're ready to celebrate now. Because Sam I want you to say it. Is this the same cost I will end on this one because you guys got to talk? But is this the same cost that you're insulting George Manor we are today? Let's start playing some of the episode, the insult he gave to George Manor we are. And then the LeBron people see him for who he is. And understand that the only reason he's doing this thing, hanging out with Calasco, they don't even trust him. It's because of the little money they gave him. We got to pray for Costa, folks. Before he commits suicide, we got to pray for him. You guys that pray for me, you pray for Costa. I will play this video. I will give you guys a chance to respond because this is important. This is the man that lied on Jose Yeman Baca. This is the man that said he was taking care of Jose Yeman Baca, but I will tell you how Costa used to work. In Costa's own words. That today, because you go put Joey hat on, you think Joey forget when you're causing his ma, causing his pa, causing his brother, causing his son, causing his wife. You think Joey forget? You think he will forgive you when you're causing Jefferson Koji? When you're causing everyone, I don't care less about Jefferson Koji. You think they are happy with you because Senator gave you small money? Let's play some of his clip. Let's go back in history. Let's go back and play some of these things. Let the LeBron people hear and understand the real Henry Pedro Costa. It's nothing personal. It's election season, folks. Joe, you watch in the video. You are a dirty, nasty, Gibraltar pig. P I G. If you don't know how to spell pig, P I G, pig. That's what you are. A dirty, nasty, sleazy scum of the earth, Gibraltar Peak, who still. That's the Costa. That's the Costa. 
That's the man causing the president, the one that he begged to endorse, the one that he begged to, to go back to. I'm Henry Costa, a Liberian talk show host and political activist. It doesn't matter how you voted the first round. But now, in this second round, you must vote for peace and stability. We cannot afford to go back to refugee camps. And so, we must vote against the CDC, a party that has shown to present nothing, no ideas, just a reminder of the old days. As you walk into that boot on election day, think about those we lost to the same kind of evil and stop it in its tracks. Fellow Liberians, these are the people that expect to get a second term in. They son of a swan! They hit on! He is such an idiot that he doesn't even have the confidence to stand up and tell the people what is happening in the country, what he's a do, what, what what he's doing about uh, the the bad economy, the issue of increase the, the increased wave of rape and sexual uh, uh, sexual violence in the country. He has said absolutely nothing. But all he able to do is to go stand in a stupid little thing he built called church and talk nonsense to people. What kind of man is this? What kind of man is this? This is not leadership. And so how can you can talk nicely to that kind of man? He just cause his shit out of him. You damn dirty dog. Piece of shit like you. You damn idiot from Gibraltar. You, you, a hero is somebody who ain't got no values. They can say whatever. They're so damn stupid. They have no training. They're uncouth. That's what it is. So John here is two things. He's a damn country man. He's a native man, part like myself, but he's a damn country man because he ain't got no freaking values. He ain't no shit. He ain't no aim from bullfrog. And you and y'all took this idiot with the help of Ellen Johnson Shalit and made him president of the republic. Instead of that man addressing key issues that affect the country, he goes to that nonsense called a church and he talks rubbish. The president of your country, that PP Pasama Swan. That the door, door we are telling the Liberian people who took an idiot, a hero like him, and made him president. And he telling the people, say, You're complaining, all day you're complaining, a ta ha, a ta ha. But you know, the country, the time has in 1847. You know, we must have an excuse for him to steal our money to pay a horse. The dirty dog. We must have an excuse to buy a car for Jackie Apia. Who must have an excuse to put a wife in our budget to give her uh, uh, 1.5 million a year? This son of a swan, the Billy Good president, who must have his excuse to make Nathaniel McGill, that dog belly boy from Babulu County, a multi millionaire, who must have that excuse. Samuel Twe, that all intellectual froster, eh? 419 man, the chief actor of their corruption network, we, we must accept the excuses. To see our 25 million dollars under the pretext of a map up exercise. That the excuse we must accept. That the excuse this son of a son, the dead dog, dog we are saying, we must accept. That what we must accept from him. Y'all, y'all, let's go to the of good. Yeah, I travel the world. I live in the best city in the world. Say you not know shit. Eh? You travel the world. You interact with some of the most civilized people in the world. Say you're still damn country uh, Gibraltar P. Eh? You're still damn country P. No, you don't got no etiquette. You don't got no values. You gamble all your damn money. You womanize. You take cocaine. You do all kind of shit. You fucked her ass. And you sit there and say, hey, I'm, I'm trying to work. I'm living in Google City. Who the hell wants to know where you live? How can you be poor when you get, when you get going down in your backyard? Listen, listen to the asshole. My boy, y'all listen to the man. The man said, we're not poor because we're going down in our backyard. So we're not, we're not poor. Listen to this guy go on ranting about he just showing himself what a selfish son of a bitch he is. Listen to this asshole. Eh? You're not poor. Why are you complaining that you're poor? You can go and damn in your backyard. Go get your damn 
cut lights, they hold this shit, and dig the damn gold and diamond up. This is what they ask always saying to us. We're not poor because we got gold and diamond in our backyard. Y'all let me know that son of a swan. He had a trees. The trees. He had a The man said, you're not poor. You get palm trees. You get coconut trees. Then you complain. What are you complaining for? They dead the door yet? How the hell were you poor when you have palm tree and coconut tree too? You just we are. Only recently when you had nothing before becoming president. The man is telling, telling, telling us, you, you're not poor. Because you get coconut tree, you get palm tree, you get gold and diamond in your backyard, yeah, so you're not poor. This guy is a stupid dog. That's what he is. This guy. I ain't putting no, I, I'm not eating, I'm not eating cosmetic size, that size in it. And now I say, tell your children to go away from this live podcast. Because I want to cost the guy in the public domain where people can yay. And I want to cost it to myself because I myself yay. Ain't not for me. It's for you to yay. So that tens of thousands of people can watch the video so they can yay. This man is telling the Liberian people who are catching shit that they're not poor because they got, they got coconut tree and they got palm tree and they got Go and dammo in the backyard. So they're not poor. Listen to them. He said that? He heard me? He said that you're saying that you're poor. You got coconut tree, you got palm tree. <laughs> ah! Look at look at that belly good. Well, folks, we're going to have a wonderful, interesting show today. Sorry for the languages that you just her we want to welcome our sister that says she came to celebrate me sister can be adam again we're going to have a wonderful show we will remind the Liberian people because it's the best thing to do we will play these clips from heron pedro costa for you don't know whether this is ever costa or this is ever liberia well sincerely he casts his vote to celebrate josh manner we are i'm going to leave you with this this is one of the many many days Many, many days, Henry will come into my office and sit. Like you see, look at Henry sitting in my office at the waiting center. Everybody can see this. He will wait patiently for me. You know, and when he got out there and try to talk to you, we have the recordings, we have pictures because you know there's a business and everywhere where, you know, I need to monitor everything. There you go, Henry Costa, sitting quietly, for 30, 45 minutes, waiting on me instead of sometimes hours. This guy would be very patient. He would wait for me patiently because I needed to help him. But he's celebrating that Stanton going to jail for 41 months. How can you be that evil? This is Henry Costa that would give me everything. So folks, you are seeing it. You want to take the picture, take the picture, it's up to you. He's patiently waiting in my office, in the waiting room, where you get months sitting and all the, everybody will come in. Henry will be there for hours and waiting for him to get his daily bread. I'm not saying that because I help him. I'm speaking about his ungratefulness. And we need to stop this as a Liberian. Now he has jumped in George Banner. We have part that he's he insulted for ever so long. I will take this picture down. If you want this picture, it will be on Facebook. You can go get it. If you want some of the recording, we will share it. But every day, we will play recording and show you pictures when Harry was in my main office, the waiting room. We will play some of the recording from Ring and Blaine when Harry was there and we were talking everything. For you to understand that even CDC.